So India losing wickets at regular intervals. Gets in the captain now. Mahendra Singh Dhoni, very, very good average. Terrific one day record. Almost averaging 50. 6,000 runs. There's been a talk about him. Unnecessary after the tour of England. People asking whether the Midas touch has gone. Didn't have success in the Champions League, whether he needs a break. He's out here in the middle for India. 123 for four in a very crucial situation. A terrific one day player. Very good record as captain. Just the perfect time, but it was out. Oh. I think what he really meant was that was the distance between his leg and the boundary line. And it looked like a six. Shot. That's going to be four. Pass back with point in a flash. You don't want to give MS Tony and that powerful bottom hand any room. That is absolutely true. He brings his bottom hand into play. Give him a little bit of weight and he will punch through the uh, covers. More importantly, he's got this uh, great knack of finding the gaps. Nice shot in the gap and beaten the fielder, even though he was on the ring. Another boundary to the Indian captain. And played with the full face of the bat as well. Through extra cover. And this is where he probably didn't bring too much of the bottom hand. Got the uh, top hand into play as well. Very well executed. Gave him some, just a little bit of room around uh, the, uh, the offside. Great shot. Beats long off. Ms. Dhoni is now uh, enjoying the bowling. Well, the Indian certainly making the most of the uh, batting power play and the field restrictions. The half volley driven straight back past the bowler. Oh, wonderful batting. The confidence of the shot. No need to run. Beautifully placed over extra cover. And this bowling of a full length just has not worked for England. Yes, uh, because this time uh, Dhoni has decided to go over the top. The previous one was it along the ground. This is just an inside and out. One bounce over the crowd. Taking the front foot out of the wing. Not, a little, not too much, just a little bit. And look at the way he's opened the face of the bat. Oh, that could be a no ball. Over waist height. And it is. Stephen Finn has gone uh, consecutive boundaries. Uh, crowd to life. One over remaining. Dernbeck is replacing Bresnan. MS Dhoni on strike. And a slow ball. And has beaten everybody. MS Dhoni left it. It may well be a wide. And up comes the 200. Because that's a wide. Signal four. So they'll get five to the total. Well, he's got it completely wrong. Bowled ball that uh, slow ball well. Back of the hand uh, delivery. Another slow ball. And a single. Alistair Cook just uh, trying to calm people down out on the field. It was poor keeping from Keyswetter. A real shocker. India need uh, Dhoni to stay right till the end. Then they'll get a very good score. They should get about 250 plus. Cut. And this full length hasn't worked for them. Jade back disappointed. 209 for five. India now out on the 40th over is 209 runs for the last of five wickets. Short top edge. 
We'll have to wait and see whether it goes all the way. That hurried him. There's no doubt about that. He was uh, surprised by that short ball. That was more uh, an instinctive reaction from Bodhi. There you see the top edge. Very quick hands. And then he did play well. Just falling short. He finally boundary. Very fast hands by Andrew Sigdoni. That's beautifully played. That's a quality shot because uh, it was intentional. He knew exactly what he was doing, not trying to hit it too hard, just focusing on placement. That's a terrific cricket shot. It's never easy. There you see firing it in Samit Patel and just eased it over covers. That's the strength and the power of that man. And that's why he's so dangerous. He can hit boundaries at will. Aldoni will look for two here. And it's an excellent half century for the Indian captain. His fourth in a row. And all against England. But this is a beautifully paced innings. It's 236 for five. That's powerfully struck. And he'll be disappointed, Tony. Just got too close to the delivery to get the elevation. You just see the power. Just get a feeling he's going to tee off soon. 51 of 49 deliveries at a strike rate of 104. Oh, short arm jab. But he'll find the man at long gone. Comes back for two. In fact, it's gone through for four. Have a look at the back speed on the shot. He might have not got the elevation, but this is like a, a top spin shot you see in table tennis. The helicopter shot. That's something which Peterson should have stopped. He's had a tough day on the field. There you see. They call it the helicopter shot. Peterson reached it and very ordinary fielding. He's had a tough day on the field. That should have been two, not four. And he knows that. Heads down. Once the single is sent back. He's given him. He got into a great position, Billy Bowden. So didn't need to ask for the third umpire. But this is very good cricket from Tim Preston. Excellent cricket because he recovered quickly on his follow through. Yes, no, he was sent back. And then Bingo hitting the stumps uh, on the phone. Put the third man behind. There you see outside edge. A very good delivery. But an outside edge and will take all the way to the boundary. That's why you need smartness. And that's what Alistair Cook needs to learn. Get the deep square leg in. Put the third man just to put doubts in the batsman's mind. It's that just a fraction of a second. Unlucky. When you play well, things go your way and that's happened for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. And that's a busy area in one day cricket, especially when you're looking to score at a fair clip. Just feel this track is uh, a little different. The ball really came on to that. The bat uh, on that surface, this one a little slower. I think the spinners will come into play and India has got plenty of them. I think it's, uh, the battle is going to be how the England batsmen adapt to the Indian spinners and how they take them on. I think that's going to be the key right through this one-day series. This makes cricket so better. And that's the helicopter shot. Does it go all the way? Yes, it does. That's his power. And that's why the change of the bat. A heavier one at the bottom. Pitch it up and that goes over long on. Have a look at the crowd. The men in blue. What he's done is put pressure on Finn straight away. Drop back into the attack. Oh, that's a terrific shot. Look how far back he's in the crease to get the elevation. Not easy to come under such balls. It demands tremendous bat speed, a lot of strength in generating that bat speed. And some great work with the wrist as well. Now, where does uh, Finn go now? The field placing uh, for him is there is uh, a man at long off, there is long on. So, which means uh, he's got fine leg and uh, third man up in the circle. Dhoni would be aware of that. Very well bowled. That's out. 
Very good work by Stephen Finn. It's quick onto the delivery. We want to run for everything. What India need in these uh, nine balls now is at least uh, for Dhoni to play six out of them. Six out of nine, you can get a couple of big hits. And you're inching towards 300. There's one smash down the ground. Have a look at that. Now that's gone like a tracer bullet. That's for me is the shot of the game. It's just wow. Terrific power. Keep hitting them, MS. There you see the big heavy bat coming down. That's what you come to watch in one day cricket. Get out of the way, Finn. It's Tony's time. There you see terrific power, terrific bat swing. Those big forearms. Where this one? Where will this one go now? That's over point. Fantastic display. Keep bowling and I'll hit you wherever I want to. And you often ask how he generates this uh, this bat speed. So I mentioned his forearms, but have a look at that grip on the bat. It's right at the bottom. So the control on the bat uh, is a lot better. And you can see the work with the bottom hand. They're just uh, opening the face of the player. It was intentional. He knows where the field is. This is excellent batting. He's way back in the crease so that he can get under the ball and get the elevation. Absolute complete idea of where the fields are and no change in the field yet. Where's this one going? Well bowled. 16 of the over. And welcome to the subcontinent, Stephen Finn. 292 for 7. 49 overs have been bowled and MS Dhoni has moved to 80 from just 64. So he's really turned it on in the second half of his innings. He's on strike now. And he'll be eyeing that onside field. There's a huge gap between long on and square leg. Just and 20 have to wait short for of the umpire signal here. No signal from Billy Bowden. A deep mid wicket. Uh, there is a man there. In fact, three men on the boundary there. Long on, deep mid wicket, square leg. That's a wide. Alistair Cook's captaincy under pressure has been ordinary. But the break has to be 30 minutes in the new rules. Now that deflection from uh, Praveen Kumar will give Dhoni two. But otherwise uh, that would have gone straight to the man at long one. Would have got a single because he'd hit it really hard. Again two. Tony wants it, he'll get it. He wants to keep as much of the strike as possible. <laughs> What's interesting to see uh, is where Praveen Kumar is standing at the non-strikers end. He's drawn a little wider because he knows he's in the firing line. As is uh, Billy Bowden. 297 now, the score. There is a man in the deep, but Tony wants to. He'll have to hurry. And he makes his ground. So the target uh, for uh, England now, with two balls to go, is definitely 300. 299 for seven. Uh, he has got to pick the slower one. Swings, misses. But he's got so much variety uh, done back that even as a batsman, you're guessing as to uh, you know, what he's going to come up with. And when he when he bowls full, he has the ability to bowl that uh, line, good line outside the off stump and full. Last ball of the innings. Can he finish it off in style? Oh, good delivery. Excellent delivery. Another good slower ball to end the innings. So very good performances. 161 runs coming in the last 16 overs. And Mahendra Singh Dhoni leading from the front, 87 from just 70. Which means, uh, and it's with 10 boundaries, 1-6.